CPR, Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween and Middle School for Life, produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network, Experimental TV. Well, everyone's out having uh, Christmas and New Year's. So this is what I uh, anyway, Christmas is still on the de on deck for um, the YouTube show. And Christmas videos are still coming out. Uh, it is 21 hours and 56 minutes into the, uh, 31st day of December, 2021. Anyway, as I was perusing through my, uh, my Twitter feed, and one guy I follow, this guy I talk about a lot. Lionel LeBron, Lionel Nation, of Lionel Nation. Uh, he's on Twitter regularly, so if you don't watch his uh, vlogs, you, you, in his uh, daily briefings, you can sort of pick him up uh, and get an idea based on uh, what he has on his Twitter feed. And he asked the question about right-wing conspiracists, what right-wing right right conspiracy theorists. As I said before, conspiracy theorists exist on both sides. And it's just basically as a person who has an issue with the government. They don't believe the government. They don't believe with what they're being told. That's, that's t typically the nature of uh, the conspiracy theorists. I'll give you an example: left hand, or demo uh, dem Democrat or liberal uh, conspiracy theory. Trump is a Russian agent. All over the place. They could go on any Twitter feed that is that is liberal. They're talking about Trump being a a, a, um, a Russian agent. It's always been, been disproven. The dossier still has been has been disproven to be proven to be a hoax, not to be real. The whole thing was faked, uh, but they still believe it. It doesn't matter what's being said. This is a fake. This is this. They have the same issues that you see on the right for those who believe that the election was stolen. Same arguments. Uh, and again, the the facts in the case. The, the, I should say not necessarily the facts. The realities in the case. Don't really seem to matter. It's what the person believes that matters. That's what matters. As long as the person believes it, that's what it is, and there's no arguing around it. And this is the argument. This is the same dynamic you see with the vaxxers and anti-vaxxers. And the thing is, this is why I always I'm now I've removed Voltaire from the uh, Lionel project. Not really removed him, but put him back a little bit more. Lionel should basically be put up against Hegel. But in a large chunk of what we're seeing in terms of the argument of the left and right, the, 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 the sort of called the battle between um, the two sides of politics, two sides of politics is essentially the Hegelian dialectic. This is where it is. This is where it sits. And it's a belief that out of chaos, out of a conflict, that the result of the conflict will produce something known as synthesis, and this is what they call progress. But in order for progress to occur, you have to actually have a violent clash. There needs to be a violent uh, uh, conflict between the two different sides. And out of the ashes of the old comes the new. Uh, and this is not necessarily something that Marx wrote about. Marx, more, Marx would have more or less picked it up from Hegel, or there are other avenues because the whole concept of the of the chaotic universe is there in early Judaism, and it's also there in Kabbalah, and it's there in uh, Hinduism as well. Hinduism has the same same beliefs of a, uh, of, a, of, a, of, a of a background negative energy and positive energy chaos. And out of these two sides, negative and positive, the balance between the two, the yin and the yang, and this is what yin and yang means, is the balance between dark and light, the balance between chaos and, and, and order. Uh, this is what forms and makes the earth in terms of our reality. And in, in Hinduism, they have no problems, like say, the flat earth. Okay, yeah, you can have the flat earth, but because there are, there are multiple realities. Just because in this reality on, on our earth now, we have 
the round earth doesn't necessarily mean there isn't a flat earth somewhere else in some other dimension. Uh, in other words, there's another reality that would contain the flat earth. And this is the nature of what's been around us for, for a long time. This is why you have the monks li living in the mountains. This is why you have all these gurus. Uh, this is why you have yoga. This is why you have holistic learning. A large chunk of the things that are coming back into society now, this includes crystals, crystal, uh, crystallography, reflexology, um, veganism. All these things emerge not from a logical scientific core in, ter in terms of what they talk about, the humanism, from, the, from a humanist side of things, being scientific. But rather come in from a religious perspective, perspective that is deep within Gnosis. And unless you understand this, and Lionel rejects Gnosis, it doesn't even bring it up. Uh, he thinks it's, well, he's like a conspiracy theorist. His people are all crazy. Well, yeah, okay, there are a large number of, of crazy people in there, in, in, from any religion, but that doesn't necessarily mean that what they're talking about is incorrect. There may be some degree of truth to it. And, and, and as a person who can think, as a person who can study or do research, you need to really look beyond what the initial impression is to see what the what what is at the core of this belief. Why does the person believe the way they believe? Once you start doing that, and this, then you begin to understand a little bit more about Gnosis, because there's a history to it, you see that Gnosis is intertwined with much of the world that we live in today. Uh, and even even into people who like crystals and uh, 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 who have like the moon symbols or the sun symbols, a lot of these symbols come out of alchemy. These, these are alchem these are alchem uh, the, 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 the designs of the sun with the face and everything like that, and the same and the designs from the moon. That's all alchemy. It was all there, and this is what makes Harry Potter so popular, is because it's based in this understanding. Same thing with uh, the Lord of the Rings. This is this type of fantasy and folklore that many people feel drawn to. So, again, conspiracy theory is just a general term. It is typically the theorist is a person who has a strong belief, has no means of really connecting things to uh, to research, and so remains in a more we'll call it a hypothetical state, where there's not there is some evidence but very little. In many cases, when they do have evidence, the evidence is is put together in such a manner that the picture is wrong. In other words, they have the pieces of the puzzle, or enough of the pieces of the puzzle that they'll get a picture. But it's the wrong one. They just put it together wrong. And so, I'll leave that argument here. You you can't put this seven minutes in a Twitter feed, so I'll reference to this when it eventually comes out, uh, probably uh, 15 to 20 days later. All right. See you in the next transition. Akatima University. Go beyond standard knowledge. Well, a happy new year can be said. It is three hours is the first day of January 2022. Yeah, it's been a, an uneventful night. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere, didn't do anything. Uh, just the usual bit. Did through, did some of my research. Uh, scrolled through Twitter. Uh, to see uh, what other people were doing. And I would say it's a mixed bag of things. But anyways, uh, this is the beginning of uh, the new year. It'll, the way I'm doing the seasons is that this is uh, the, the, I'll be doing the season by the year. So this will be uh, season uh, 20, 20, no, 2022, with the season 2022. And that will be for... Uh, our life as Cyborg Alpha and anything produced in uh, either uh, for um, Observation Vlog or uh, Gnosis Vlog will be similarly noted as well. So, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now because there's nothing more really to say. And onward and upwards. 
Well, it's one hour and 32 minutes into the second day of January 2022. Uh, we are in, uh, uh, we are in, uh, uh, 20, 2022. It's been kind of a rough day. I've been up and down all day long. I haven't been really sort of, I've gotten enough work done that, that I need to get done. So the necessities are done. <clears throat> What is occurring is that I have another early morning call tomorrow. I have to be up at 6 o'clock in the morning, so I'm switching my clock again. And every time I switch my clock, this is what typically occurs. Uh, and I'm going to have a hard... I'm going to try to go to sleep now and see what I can do in terms of resting, but I don't really know what's going to happen. Uh, this is the nature of these things, and this is how things end up working out. I do have a couple things I have to do currently... Uh, and so sometimes I can say a lot, there's a lot to the to vlog, other times there's almost nothing to vlog, uh, because things are running through my mind at such a pace, at such a pace that it's hard to pinpoint something to sort of have a chat about. Uh, and it, this is kind of the way things end up working out. This is sometimes not always the easiest thing to do. But at the same time, this is, in many cases, the way it is. So, that being said, this is it for this transition. Well, it is four hours and 50 minutes into the second day of January 2022. Oh, 2022. Uh, I'm going into the day not so good. Uh, it's going to be... It's going to be a rough burn. I tried to get some extra rest. I couldn't. And so here we are. Uh, I'll probably watch about... Uh, see, it's 5 o'clock now. I'll probably watch about an hour, hour and a half worth of TV. And then uh, it'll be time to go. So I will see you when I see you again. Akatima University. Go beyond standard knowledge. Well, it's uh, 27 minutes into the third day of December uh, 2022. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're just getting the day started. I spent an enormous amount of time yesterday uh, doing a lot of work. I did end up end up uh, I did end up being up all night. Uh, so now we have two days of recovery. When you're up 24 hours. You'll need about 24 hours, two, two days worth of recovery. Ugh, I'm getting food delivered. When you get up like this, you're too tired to cook. You have, I have food, but too tired to cook, too tired to prepare anything, so it's easier to order out. So that's what I'm doing. And using DoorDash, so. There are always complications you have to work through. I think one of the hardest part of working through difficult situations, particularly when they're prolonged, is the it's called anticipation of problems and issues. Prior to getting to the project, my mind was all over places, to, uh, all over the place as to what was going to happen. I was continually being pushed and prodded. You know, this is going to happen, or this is going to happen, or that's going to happen. And the fears, and this is a, this sort of anticipation. It's not necessarily a fear, more of an anticipation of what could go wrong. You have to stop yourself and start saying, you know, whatever happens is going to happen. I mean, you. you in one sense, you do that. You don't necessarily verbalize your anxiety, your anticipation. But at the same time, it's still there. You've got to recognize that it's still there. And this is what causes us, you know, in many cases, in addition to... Uh, not sleeping properly. It's difficult to switch your days over from nights to days. And this is actually what I have to do. 
is when I'm preparing, preparing to go like this, is to go flip my days from nights to days. So there is an issue of my rhythm, but at the same time, the largest chunk that really sort of prevented me from prevented me from sleeping was this sense of anticipation of what was going to happen and all the things that could go wrong. And I think there are a lot of things wrong because, once again, I did finish what I set out to do initially there. But the project is all year round. This is what I said before. Sometimes you have to break up projects into sub-projects. Instead of dealing with everything all at once, you deal with, in, in, deal with the project in smaller sub-projects or smaller chunks and it makes it a little different. More e other thing, but more it makes it easier. Well, I should say a little more easier. A little more easy. Uh, uh, then it would be without it. It doesn't eliminate the issue. It doesn't eliminate the problems. But you know, you now dealt with it. You dealt with a chunk of the problem. Then you know, this project is. I have done the first segment of it. Uh, there is a second segment to come that will be in the uh, mid-January to March time frame. And then once I'm done that, there will be a segment of time uh, from the... basically June-July time frame uh, all the way into Christmas again. It'll be, it'll be another six months long project. Of cleaning up some of the wiring, some of the some of the different various different issues that are there, uh, will have to be sort of cleaned up and sort of dealt with uh, on a basis that can be dealt with. And in, in, in other words, it's not always easy to deal with things uh, as they are there. You have to sort of begin to realize that there are always going to be issues. There's always going to be things uh, that sort of pop up and create issues so uh anyways at this point in time i am not, i'm off a little bit i'm just kind of drifting so i'm gonna leave this here and head out up to the youtube stroll and then i'll come back maybe afterwards uh and say a little little something more all right University. Go beyond standard knowledge. It is 13 hours and 24 minutes. End of the third day of January uh, 2022. <clears throat> I'm just getting the day started. That's why uh, the pause. No, no, I'm not getting the day started. Sorry, I'm on. This is the pit stop. I'm still in the recovery day. Uh, yesterday uh, was the end of uh, 24 hours without sleep. Once again, this is a, it, it was the third week in a row that this has happened. So, uh, anyway, to say the bo my body is. Is in, is is in somewhat of a condition. It's it's not where it should be, but but then again, considering the uh, considering uh, the model of uh, the lack of sleep uh, on a weekly basis, uh, uh, one could uh, understand that as being par for the course. So. Uh, Anyways, uh, the watch is working out okay. I, there are issues that I have with it. I'm looking into getting another device. Actually, this would be a better one. It's about watch size. It will fit on the wrist here. Uh, but I'll have, to, I'll have to use hot glue to put it to a scrunchie and turn it into a wrist watch. It's basically, they've got these new tiny cell phones now. Uh, well, full screens and everything. So, uh... I'm thinking of getting that rather than uh, spending any more money on getting another watch. I'd rather get the smaller uh, uh, cell phone. And the thing is, the, the, the wristbands that I have that for the uh, for the watch, 
and I'm only wearing it because I need to take some uh, measurements, some health measurements uh, for my, for my new uh, primary care physician because the other one retired, even though she was very young, she retired. <laughs> Um, and I was talking to some of my other friends who are in the field, and they're all retiring. They're all, they're, they're tired of the system, they're tired of what's going on, and they're just leaving. Uh, so, after all is said and done, there aren't going to be that many doctors around. In many cases, you'll either have to settle for a uh, physician, physician's assistant, or you're going to have to settle for a nurse practitioner. Uh... But a lot of people feel that these that the doctors aren't needed, so they're they're feeling the the rejection, they're feeling the the, the uh, sense of not being wanted, so they're leaving. So when people start dying, and people, well, why are people dying? Well, because your PAs and your uh, NDs, uh, you know, your nurse practitioners, uh, uh, they just simply don't have the level of experience that a doctor has. There is a significant significant difference in the amount of schooling that you have to do in order to get your MD. And it's not just the schooling, that you, but after you have your... After you have your MD, you have to do at least uh, three or four years of... Uh, uh, called residency in, in, a cl- in, in, in a hospital. You have to have... Uh, clinical experience under another doctor. You don't have to go out, go out on your own. That's it. And hey, you're a doctor. It's uh, you have to be part. Of, you have to be part of a particular particular a hospital uh, clinical s- s- uh, situation where you spend uh, uh, three or four years in residence, and then after the three or four years of residence, then you get a placement at a hospital as a sort of an independent doctor, or you set up your own, your, your private clinic. Uh, but then, as it, this is not considered part of the PA, this is not considered part of the uh, ND at all, uh, the nurse practitioner. It should be NP. But anyways. Uh and so what's happening is that as this becomes the new social standard for healthcare for the average person, of course, the uh, the prime minister and all the politicians they're not giving up their private doctors. They all have, they have matter of fact, all of your politicians talk about social and universal healthcare. Uh, they all have private healthcare. They all have the top doctors. They have, you know, and basically, if you can afford a top doctor, this is where it's going to be now. You, the top doctors, the real research, the real doctors, the real, uh, you know, medical professionals who have all those years of experience, they're only going to be available <coughs> uh, to the upper class, the upper, the, the, the elites, anyone who can afford to have them. If you cannot afford to have them, in other words, you're dependent on universal health care, you will not have the top level doctors. You will have uh, a median in between you'll have the nurse practitioner or the PA. That's what you'll get. And that's what's happening now. This is, this, this is, and that's why you're seeing a lot of GPs, the general practitioners, just simply leaving the field and just walk, you know, I'm, I'm, okay, bye, I'm retiring. And this is, this is sort of the reality of the situation. So, uh, you, more and more you're gonna have to start taking care of yourself. Anyways, I'm on to uh, my pit stop. I do have something to eat here, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, see you then. Well, as people continue to freak out, and I made, I made my uh, thousand steps for the day. Uh, for me, that's pretty good. <laughs> I don't go anywhere. I do a lot of my research here. This is what I spend most of the day doing is research. This is uh, my media room research desk. Uh, you can see the other side of it. Where I have the um, my movie theater, if you will, the media room mm. on Instagram. I post it there mm. on uh, this Kawaii Tea House T T Kawaii Tea House. That's the Instagram uh, account Kawaii K A W 
A I I T and then house, all one word. Uh, that's my account on Instagram, and you can see the things I watch on, uh, on in terms of my YouTube show because I can't post any of it here because of uh, copyright issues. So uh, the things I do at my research desk never get posted here uh, because of that. In terms of in terms of the media that I watch, the shows I watch. Uh, I do have a tea here. Uh, it's a new com a new version of iced tea that I have. Um, this is done with. Uh, I've added in because now I've got the fruit blender. I got the, the I, I can make fruit juices from various different fruits. So now I'm trying a dehydrated fruit, uh, uh, dates and goji berries, and I've tasted all right. It's very good. The dates add a nice flavor to it. So. Here's to those who are, uh, who are watching, and uh, sorry for those who are freaking out about the uh, current situation with uh, the unmentionable uh, health crisis that's going on, which is more of a mental health crisis than anything else. Very good. And so now I'll be going on to uh, the YouTube stroll. I'm at the Yowie Vlogs. Things are starting to sort of progress, and uh, from there uh, I'll be heading over to It's Our Life and the usual uh, path that I take on the YouTube stroll. Produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network, Experimental TV. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen and Mid.